It was a rather relatively low-key memorial service due to current COVID-19 regulations. Mourners praised the late leader for his contribution in community, youth and women empowerment. His active involvement in sporting and political activities also did not go unnoticed. The Swapo party, as well as founding and former presidents Sam Nuyoma and Hifike Punye Pohamba had their messages read on their behalf by Vantuk West constituency councillor Emma Muteka. Chief Mkuvaoba III, when he was designated as a chief of the Bambanderu traditional authority, he had a difficult task to promote mutual understanding between different communities in our country. It is saddening that his departure came at a time when he was expected to continue to execute this responsibility by his community. It is my sincere hope that another dynamic and wise leader will emerge from the Banderu Royal House to take over where the late chief, Guvawa III, has left. Seasoned diplomat and historian Dr. Kairi Mbwende commented the magnificent leadership of the late Ombara, saying it mimics those of his four barriers. He combined the two roles uh, admirably, that of being a traditional leader and a political leader. It, in fact, he was capable of combining these roles um, in a unique way. Munyuku III was born in 1957 in Botswana's Ngamiland district before coming to Namibia at the age of 10. While attending school at Okakarara Secondary School, he got involved in politics and faced temporary imprisonment for mobilizing activities. He was expelled from Okakarara and went on to the Augustinium Secondary School, after which he became a teacher at Drimiopsis Secondary School. He went on to complete his teacher's diploma, after which he assumed different roles in the teaching profession. Among this is principal of Drimiopsis Primary, before becoming the councillor for the Okorukambe constituency, and ultimately a deputy minister, a path vividly remembered by Omaheke governor. I will remember him in different ways, perhaps most as an active, energetic person. He was a stern educationalist, a commander of note. He played an instrumental and a monitoring role in molding so many people in a speech read on his behalf, President Hage Kengop said, just like his forefathers, the late Nguvauva stood firm for the independence of Namibia. Your legacy of patriotism, bravery, reality, hard work, honestly, and unquestionable commitment to the ideals of free, independent, united, stable, and prosperous Namibia in which generations of Namibians would live together in harmony, will continue to serve as an internal aspiration and memorial to us and future generations. Some family members from Botswana also attended the ceremony. He will continue to remain an inspiration to them through tough times, through hard times, including this very hard and tough time of losing him. Ombara Munyuku III is survived by 19 children and 51 grandchildren. He will be buried at Okahanja on Saturday.